Former National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Adam Soshomole, has berated the opposition People Democratic Party PDP for violating its zoning formula. The former Edo State Governor claimed that the PDP was insensitive for jettisoning the zoning arrangement and throwing its 2023 presidential ticket open. Oshomale said this on Monday at a rally in Sagbo Gida, Ora, headquarters of Oman West Local Government Area, to receive Ojo NC, Governor Gordon Obaseki's former political advisor and his supporters to the APC. He also mocked the PDP governors for agreeing that the 2023 presidency should be zoned to the south. But Governor Ifan Yokowa became a running mate to a northerner. Speaking further, Oshomole applauded the decision of the northern APC governors to zone the 2023 presidency to the south, describing the governors as consistent and courageous. The Edo North senatorial candidate of the APC in the 2023 elections also commended President Muhammad Buhari for supporting the decision of the governors to back the Southern Presidency. The bold decision of Northern APC governors on 2023 presidency indicates that they are consistent and courageous. PDP governors went to Asaba and said in the afternoon that 2023 president in 2023 must come from the South. But before they reached Newe, an Asaba man had transferred the presidency to the North and he made himself the vice president. Persons who murder truth will not be able to sleep. Always thank and bless the APC Northern Governors and President Muhammad Buhari, who decided that the next president must come from the South, so that nobody will feel that he is a forgotten. The strength of a system depends on its ability to acknowledge and protect the rights of persons who seem to be minorities in the eyes of men. The APC is superior because when the leaders talk, they deliver. The former APC national chairman also called for unity among members of the ruling party in order to win the 2023 general elections across the nation. Oshomala also predicted victory for the ruling APC and Governor Boyega Oyetola of Oshun State in the July 16th governorship election. He said, We will fight and defeat poverty. It is not God that makes people poor. Bad policies generate poverty. I am assuring you that poverty will go through all of us working together. United will stand, divided will fall. United will win, divided will suffer because they are divided now. We are united. Some PDP leaders boasted some weeks ago that they were battle-tested and battle-ready, not battle-weary. Few weeks later, they started shouting that they needed peace. The way we defeated the PDP in Ekiti State, we are still going to defeat PDP in Oshun State. It is a new world. There is a limit to how much you can do. The voters do not do press conferences. They speak once in four years. May God use you, APC members, to benefit from the disunity in PDP and use you to consolidate our unity. We will use the broom to sweep them away. APC will continue to go higher and higher. Adam Soshomole, former governor of Edo State, knocks PDP over violation of the 2023 zoning formula. You know, it was really interesting because, um, surprising too, the way they all started out, you know, the meetings, they held one in Asaba, they, they, they met um, in Delta State, and um, with one voice, they met twice, with one voice that 2023 presidency must go to the south. And you know the way Oshomole put it, that in the, just in the afternoon, they decided that, yes, it should go to the south, that before they even got to Newe, meaning that before they even left to their different uh, locations, to their different states, they had already settled for, um, they've settled for less. Despite the fact that um, Southern and Middle Belt um, Leaders Forum cautioned that none of the Southern uh, governors should accept the VP slot. I believe they were just uh it was just they were just talking on their own at that point. Oshomala is mocking them that if I Yoko are not settled for VP slots, that what a shame. He knows that um, the party is divided, despite the fact that even PDP itself they are claiming that there's no division. You know, yesterday Atiku Abubakar spoke that um, there's nothing wrong within the party, that um any sort of agitation is an opportunity for them to 
move the party forward is an opportunity for them um to do this and do that even if they are saying nothing is wrong everybody can see it from outside what is going on wiki um not being chosen samuel orthom's uh, um fury even fire chase outbursts we can all see it they are all speaking from their different zones so they they can't deceive anyone that um, they are not divided well uh adam sushomole is saying right now that they are going to take advantage they will take advantage of the disunity currently going on in pdp but pdp they still have time to put their house in order even apc itself they were engulfed in serious crisis was it not the crisis that threw adam sushomole out it was a crisis that removed him as the national chairman he didn't finish his tenure if he remembers very well so uh politics is a game of interest and um the sort of politics that is played in Nigeria, unfortunately, is a very dirty one. It's just personal interest. They don't think about the masses. They don't think about the electorate. You know, Oshomala made a, a remark that the electorate, they don't do press conferences always, very often. It's once in four years. After four years, they, they read the report card. They read the results of all of these politicians who promised heaven and earth, who's been saying a lot. They call their result for them. For APC... Nigerians are tired of this party, this APC, because um, APC has brought so much hardship. Oshomole was talking about um, poverty, that it's not God that brings poverty, it's bad policies, but I'm not sure he's looking very closely. The sort of policies that his party, the APC, the sort of, the sort of policies they've been making and how those policies have uh, um, helped or elevated uh, people from suffering and from poverty. Many people are still suffering. You can imagine the standard, uh, the, the, the minimum wage cannot even purchase a bag of rice. What is Oshomole talking about here? APC itself has brought so much pain on the country. All of the promises they made in the 2015 um, general election and even the 2019, they've not been met. It's security. You know, that's why the uh, uh, the electorate, they've been looking elsewhere, looking at PDP, would, would, would help come from PDP. But if you look at these politicians, they are the same. They are the same ones who move from one end to another. That was why um, Nigerians started um, looking at um, p uh, 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 another force. You know, when he left the PDP, everyone was watching, where will he go? Is he APC? Where will he go? If he had gone to APC, then it would just be concluded that, oh, what a shame. But he went to LP. And with that, he's been getting a lot of support, despite all of um, the backlash he's been getting, being called stingy and all of the names he's been called. Um, Obaseki mentioned one day that uh, the two major parties should be careful that everywhere he goes, that is obedient, he's hearing obedient, obedient, something is happening, something is about to happen. Well, we'll see how all of this plays out right now. We know that there are three parties out there PDP, APC, LP, and NNPP. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned, and please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.